Hey everyone, it's Morella Manelli here, and today I'm going to show you how to properly cover gray using the brand new Kenra Professional Natural Ultra Ash Series, as well as finishing your client with a wearable violet with the brand new Kenra Professional Demi Permanent Double Violets. So stay tuned and check it out. This is my model Jillian and as you can see, she has a lot of natural highlights growing in through here. And she's about anywhere between 75 to 100% gray right through the front, except for her hairline. And then also what you can see here in the very, very back is that she's only about 25% gray. So if I were going to be intermixing any of my shades for gray coverage, I would probably mix up a couple different formulas to address the front and the back. But because she really wants a very nice cool end result, we're just going to stick with the brand new Natural Ultra Ash in Kenra Professional. We're also going to be adding in some subtle highlights using the air touch method, especially around the face. And I'm really excited to be finishing off her final glaze with the brand new Demi Permanent Color Series Double Violet that Kenra just launched. And what it's gonna do is give a vibrant, bold end result that lasts up to 30 washes and fades on tone. So first things first, I'm gonna mix up her regrowth formula, which we're gonna go in with five NUA, equal parts, 20 volume. I start all my gray coverage retouches in the front since this is typically where the gray is most prevalent. This allows for slightly longer processing time and more saturation. The NUA's or Natural Ultra Ash series offers 100% gray coverage, which means you can use it as a standalone color or you can intermix it with other Kenra shades to cool them down and cover the gray. They are calibrated at each level for control, which helps when lifting two or more levels and keeping brassy hair at bay. This is definitely my new go-to shade when clients don't want to see any red. NUAs offer maximum neutralization and they have a green blue base at lower levels. So if your client tends to pull warm and you need the control, definitely give these a go. A great pro tip is when applying your root retouches, make sure to apply to both sides of your sections so you have proper saturation, especially for those seven grays, and apply your color in diagonal back sections. This will help ensure a clean application, especially around the hairline, and keep your client's hair away from their face while they are processing. Now that her regrowth has been applied, we're gonna let it process, and while it's processing, I'm gonna go in and give her a halo zigzag sectioning for her highlights, and then apply her lightener using the air touch method. Now for her lightener, I decided to go in with Kenra Professional No Ammonia Lightener, with 30 vol for that mid zone, and then for her ends, I'm gonna be using 20 volume. Starting about four inches from the hairline, zigzag your halo section. This sectioning is going to allow for a more organic finish versus doing a perfect circle section. The goal is to create a dark halo over the top, but keep the pop of color around her face. I find that halo sections offer the lowest maintenance for your client. After creating your zigzag halo section, separate the front from the back right behind the ear. Take a one inch diagonal back section and clip away the rest of the hair. Comb through your section and hold it nice and taut on the ends. Then turn your dryer on, high blow, but cool setting. There's no need to use heat. And then you're gonna point the dryer nozzle directly on top of your section and allow for the shorter hairs to blow through. Pull the loose hairs away from the section that you're holding, just so you have a much cleaner working space. I find that using a board with my foil help with saturation of my lightener because the board allows me to push the product through the hair, which is essential for an even lift. Continue working in diagonal sections throughout the back until you're complete. So basically for my model, we decided to use one and a half inch sections mostly because she has medium density hair and we wanted a moderate amount of lightness and depth. 
Now I get lots of questions about the air touch method and exactly what it does. So it's kind of like the perfect marriage between balayage and baby lights and teasy lights all in one but without teasing the hair. So when you're blowing through all of those little hairs in between, that's basically all of the new growth and the hair's growth cycle kind of pushing through. So that's gonna allow for the depth that you need for your highlights to pop, which makes this technique so amazing and there's so many different ways to do it. To start your air touch in the front, make sure to decide where your client parts their hair. We decided to use a center part for Jillian because she wears her hair on both sides. So we decided to use diagonal forward sections since she also wears her hair away from her face. And I really wanted the pop of highlights to show. And I continued with the sectioning throughout the top. In order to create a seamless blend, I applied my lightener six inches away from her head saturated the mid zone and then feathered up the lightener towards the top and then I pulled my lower developer through the ends. A pro tip is if you are using a different level of developer like I am be sure to either fold over the bottom so the top midsection doesn't touch the bottom. You'll see that I do a mini fold right at the bottom first and then I flat lay my final foil. Now you might be wondering how long does this air touch method take? I find that it is a little bit more of a faster process than the typical TZ lights. And for Jillian, it took me approximately 25 to 30 minutes to actually get the foils in. Now, as far as her permanent hair color that's sitting on her roots, she typically would process for 40 minutes for gray coverage, but because Kenra Color is a non-progressive permanent color, I'm not too worried about it getting darker or oversaturated. It actually stops processing at that 45 minute mark, so it's a perfect color to use, especially with foils or a balayage technique. We're completely done putting in her foils and highlights, and now we're just gonna go ahead and let her process. And I'll check her foils in about 15 minutes, and she should be ready for her final glaze. All right, so we processed Jillian's hair for about 25 minutes, and we simply shampooed and conditioned her hair, and then just did a really quick rough dry. And as you can see, she lifted in some areas to a level seven, and some areas to a level six, and she still has that red tone that she came in with on her ends. And now we're gonna get ready to do her final glaze. So we're gonna mix up the brand new Kenra Professional Demi Permanent 6VV, one to two with nine volume developer, and then process her room temperature for 20 minutes. Anytime I want maximum saturation of my toners, I always apply my color to dry hair. You definitely have the option to apply to damp hair, but just remember, any water that is on the hair can become a dilution tool. So it's really up to you on the type of finish that you're looking for. I also like to process for the full 20 minutes because the longer you leave Demi on, the more saturation you will have. Since Jillian has lots of red orange tones, I wanted to be sure to make my color work to its full potential. A pro tip with Demi Permanent is don't be afraid to really work your product in. You'll see that I'm making sure to massage it into the hair, especially on those mids and ends. This will help ensure that you won't have any splotchiness and you'll get a nice even color. So here is the final result using the brand new Kenra Professional Natural Ultra Ash Series, as well as the brand new Demi Permanent Double Violet Series. Just to recap on Jillian's color, we used a brand new Kenra Professional Natural Ultra Ash Series, and we went in with equal parts 5 NUA with 20 volume developer. And for her highlights, we decided to go in with Kenra Professional No Ammonia Lightener 1 to 2 mixing ratio, 30 volume for the mids and 20 volume for the ends. And then for her final glaze, we went in with 6 VV one part of your color to two parts of your nine volume developer and processed her for 20 minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time.